Good morning. Oh, it is my first morning in Helsinki. And I just had to share this with you. So Helsinki is the land of saunas, right? This is brilliant. It's just brilliant. Research it. Look up look up spas, so not spas, saunas in uh in Helsinki. There are public saunas everywhere, they're affordable, everybody goes, they're part of the culture. You do, like after work you go to the sauna and you maybe spend an hour or two. Sauna, cold pool, swimming pool, sauna, cold pool, swimming pool, whatever you'd like to do. I'm intrigued because you know I love water. Nothing makes me more happier than hearing water, seeing water, being in water. And so I decided on my very first day in Helsinki, I was gonna start my day at one of these saunas. Okay, I just had to share this with you all morning. And I love this too, because my body <laughs> was a little scared to work, uh, to walk here, because my, um, ooh, I don't know what is going on, but my, uh, the muscle contractions that happen with chemo, pretty consistently, it happens with my, my, uh, my forearms, my hands and my feet, but, for some reason, while Nicole decides to go traveling, my body is spazzing all the time. It's insane. Oh, so I thought, well, I don't know. Will a hot tub help this? I don't know. I haven't gone to anything public in three years because COVID, right? And cancer. So this is an outdoor, all year round experience. Okay, okay, wait, wait, hold on. I'm not gonna take you down because I don't wanna be rude, but I just want you to see, okay, so. Check this out. All right, behind me is, you've got the swimming pools. And then, hold on, they go all the way around. Back here, you've got saunas and dipping pools. And then the ocean is behind me. I mean, what more could you ask for for the start of a day? Oh, hmm. I had planned a tour uh, for this morning, but unfortunately my tour guide had to cancel at the last minute because she got COVID. Oh, grateful that she was honest and just canceled. <laughs> Thank you. I really, um, in the before times, I didn't do tours, but uh, in today's world with my um, comprehension issues and my memory issues and things like that, uh, um, you know, when I'm at home, like I'm at, when I'm in my neighborhood and all of a sudden I'm standing there, I'm like, whoa, oh, hold on, wait a minute. Where am I going? Where am I? And you start to panic, but I breathe because I know I'm safe. I'm safe. I'm home, right? It'll it'll go away. I'll find my way home. But to a foreign city, it's scary. I will say much better um, in Morocco. Uh, Google Maps didn't work, so it was I, like I had to have a tour guide. Today, well, we'll just see. I'm hoping my body works out. I've got a whole walking tour planned for myself. I'm gonna take it easy. And I'm going back to a different sauna uh, down the road on the ocean tonight to, to end my day. Um, I'm just gonna fill it up with uh, an architectural tour and, and a food tour and I'm sure I'll be okay. And if not, the great thing is, is that I'm just gonna sit in place and I have uh, tracking on my phone and my wife will find me eventually. <laughs> oh, I wish you were here with me. This is so lovely. Oh, okay. See you later. Hey there. I'm back. I made it home safe and sound. I'm still uh, marveling. <laughs> I made it to Helsinki. I made it to Iceland. It was just, I really liked Helsinki. The The mix of the architecture uh, was, you could see, you know, like former Soviet, I don't know, I always attribute it to like Soviet bloc, like that, that, uh, that really gross bland, just construction, like you, you, you just, you build something to exist in, but not to live in, you know? It's not built for life, it's just meant for existence. And then next to this really cool old architecture, I mean, just, you could, the history. I think that's the thing that I really enjoy when you leave the States. We're in such a bubble here, right? And you forget, I mean, we're only a couple hundred years old. Our history is some cabins out West, maybe a few old buildings in New York and Boston, but 
nothing like when you travel. Like in London, there's a door that you can go visit. It's a thousand years old. <laughs> like that's some history. And that's what you felt in uh, Helsinki. It was really cool. Um, that day that I came out of the sauna, my body actually uh, did not heal from the heat. Um, the chemo side effects where it takes your body and it squeezes all of your muscles and, and completely debilitates you <laughs> uh, was happening. So I just, I just had to make a, a decision. Uh, I had to, and it was strange. I had to wrestle like my, my, my mind to recognize like, Hey, it's not safe for you to walk around alone because your body is just not participating. But that doesn't mean that this needs to be over, right? There was a there was a little uh, tour bus, or not tour bus, uh, uh, boat, uh, right outside of the sauna. I thought, hey, let's just jump on this tour. And I, mean, for some reason, I had to, like that's not something I would have done in the before times, because I had an able body, right? So I I would walk, you know, ten miles around the city doing an architecture tour, or just going wherever my mind was interested and my body would follow, but that's just not the case today. Um, so there was some like sadness in making that decision, but I think this, this whole trip was that, right? This whole trip was, was reminding myself constantly that like in order to be able to do this, adaptability is your superpower, right? I mean, we're out here, you were disconnected from chemo and got on a plane the chances that you're taking for getting sick for like all of these things it's because we can so we're going to but we have to make it's okay to make decisions to support ourselves today and not just like push through something or i don't know lots of those conversations happening ah. but it was you know the, the greatest takeaway for me about helsinki is i just i felt like i could breathe it, it was a major city I think it was really cool that on Sundays they shut down all the stores and most of the restaurants because I, I heard like it was like half of their population is in the service industry. So they want to make sure that they have a consistent day off. Wow. <laughs> in America, you're like, I'm sick. <laughs> well, <laughs> blow your nose and come to work. <laughs> My dad died yesterday. Ah, here's a tissue. Come to work. Right. Let's, <laughs> so it was, that was weird. Uh, and it just, the movement of the city was like, it was just like a culture at ease. It was really peaceful. There was just not a lot of noise populate or um, pollution. Uh, it was just very nice. Very white, as you can imagine though. So I, that was one of the things that made me really smile coming back to Chicago. It's one of the greatest things I appreciate about America is our diversity. I know people struggle with that, but um, traveling around this globe into monocultures, I think what we're what we're building here is really cool. You know, I don't like to eat the same food every day, anyways. <laughs> Can you imagine being a kid today and you think it's totally normal that one day you have Mexican food, the next day you have Thai food, the next day you have Nigerian food, the next day you have cheeseburgers, the next day, you know, like that's, that's, I think about those things. Hmm. Anyways, chemo is tomorrow. So I'm going to continue uh, walking with, say hi to Matilda. Hi Matilda. We're gonna finish our walk and uh, uh, start to do some of the mind exercises and stuff that I do to get ready. For... And I gotta do prep all of my food. <laughs> but for now, I'm gonna keep playing these inside my head. This is a beautiful trip. Thanks for visiting with me. I'll chat with you later this week. We got a lot to catch up on actually. I will reach out this week. I got a lot of time while I'm hanging out on chemo. It might not make sense, but um, we'll have to catch up with doctors' appointments. Okay. Mm -hmm.